What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on the Cadillac. We are installing a subwoofer. Now the Cadillac already has a factory subwoofer in the back, but I still have, pretty sure it's a 10 inch too, but I have a 10 inch kicker from my Silverado that I sold. So I'm just gonna add that today, just for a little extra bass in here. Yeah, I have I have the amp and the sub already, so I'm just gonna throw it in here, give this thing a really nice sound system. <clears throat> now the person I bought it off of, he upgraded all the speakers with Infinity speakers. So this sound system in here sounds really good already but it's just gonna sound better. You can see here the radio. This is the one thing that I wasn't sure what was going on with the vehicle. The radio doesn't work at all, and it's just unplugged because you need an adapter. So I'm gonna get that taken care of today. This sound system or this uh, head unit has already been installed. If you guys see my previous videos, previous owner put this in. So I'm not sure if I should use the rear out or the subwoofer. Probably just gonna use the subwoofer because it's, I think it's just for that, I don't know. I think I'm gonna use this one. But I'm happy I'm getting this radio taken care of. So first things first, I have to get the power cable from the battery in through here sub the amp's gonna be under the seat sub's gonna be behind the seat so on a lot of vehicles let's see there's usually a hole that you can just get um already get through the firewall but on this escalade and i'm pretty sure like the suburbans tahoes yukons i'm pretty sure they're gonna all be the same this is a 2002 escalade but if you see right there where that foam is, that little hole, you have to unbolt this guy, this little fuse panel or whatever. There's one bolt here. And then you can get to that up there. See if I can get my light right. Okay, so it's gonna be hard to see. But you take that back and you can see that little tiny nipple. It's gonna be hard to see, but it's right where my, this finger is, right there. See it? That nipple, you have to drill through. Now, that's the only way I see, or the easiest way that I see to get through this firewall. <clears throat> that same nipple is right here. You pull this back, and it's hard to see on camera without a light, but it's right there. You can see my where my finger's moving. Right there. You can see that nipple from the outside. But I don't think you can drill it from the outside. So I'm going to drill it from the inside. And that's why you had to unbolt this guy. So yeah, we're going to do that. Then I can get my power cable through. The RCAs will be easy to run. I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna use for my um, remote power wire. I still have to figure that out. We're gonna get this uh, all done today. So I'm gonna get that drilled out. Then I'm gonna start rounding the wires. All right guys, so I'm working on getting this power cable run see I got it back there it comes through the firewall down through here it's gonna go slightly behind this goes over here you can just pull this out a little bit right all the way down here nice little channel for it pull this out goes back behind there and this is back the back seats. I got it right here. And then I want it to come out right here where this factory 
wire harness uh, comes out. So I got it going underneath the carpet right here. I got this wire, I got it taped to the wire. So now I'm just gonna pull it through, hopefully. Beautiful. Okay. Now it comes out right here, right where I wanted it to. All right, guys, so I got the wires pretty much all ran. I'm just doing a test run right now. Um, this power cable or the remote cable is the only one that I don't have ran, but I spliced it into the power antenna wire. And if I turn this on, I just tried it. Um, everything works that uh, head units resting against my column so I can't turn it on with one hand but just tried it everything works so I'm now gonna disconnect this power cable or the yeah the power connect cable whatever the remote cable and disconnect that run it just like I did this power cable it'll come out here and then I can put everything back together and start installing the sub. I ran these audio, the RCA cables, the exact same way I ran the power cable, just on the other side. So it comes out the carpet right there. So when you open up the door, you can't see it anywhere. It doesn't come out till back there. Right here, it comes out, so. The way this is set up is really nice. You can do a clean uh, amp install. Let me show you how I did the power. Okay, so for my power cable, I originally said there's a nub. You can't really see now, it's right there. I thought that's where I was gonna drill through, but I ended up drilling through a little bit higher but no big deal. So it ends up coming out right by these two wires right here, a little bit higher than I originally thought, but that's fine. I'm gonna eventually, um, part of the finishing touches, put some like black silicone over it just to make sure it doesn't leak ever. And I still have to connect my fuse box to probably like right here somewhere or connect my inline fuse to my fuse box, probably like right there just to keep it nice sturdy. And then I couldn't get this ring terminal to work on my side mount battery terminals. So I bought this top mount little bracket and just bolted it right to the top uh, battery mount and now that's where it gets power from. My battery doesn't move at all. I have plenty of clearance, so it's not touching any metal. I'm gonna run this remote cable, and then I can put everything back together. All right, guys, got this sub all installed. Now, like I was saying before, this is just a little kicker, little 10 inch kicker that I bought for my single cab truck. It's a slim, small box. Might get something different eventually, but like I was saying, I just had it laying around, so I decided to install it in here. I had everything to do it, so I might end up putting that like up here, building something to, when I build my overland stuff. I don't know, we'll see. But that's where it's at for now. Um, you can see, you can't see any wires got a nice clean install even if you look under here that's the first place you can see it I can even tuck it behind the carpet better but the only thing I have to do is maybe tie this amp down somehow I might just tie it down to this these chairs or something or these seats I mean 
tie it to here or something. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with the amp. But it can't really go anywhere because the ground wire is not very long. But, yeah. Can't really show you guys how it sounds because of copyright issues and stuff, you know. But it's nothing crazy. It's just a 10 inch little kicker. It sounds good. Definitely adds some more bass. I was showing you before. This is the power cable, goes through my firewall there. I got this screwed into my fuse box. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. That's pretty easy install. Still have to tie this down too. I'm not sure exactly the best way to do it in an SUV. But that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully this helps someone out. Remember to like and subscribe. Uh, it really helps me out. I really appreciate it. And that's it, guys. Hope you have a great day. Peace.